Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my sixth update for my Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pan. This project was created by my beautiful friend Sarah, and you can find her linked down below, of course. In this project, we're working on five non-cruelty-free products in our collection with the goal to reach 100% cruelty-free. I'm still at 84% that I was at last month. Um, I'm going to be filming a chatty get ready with me here soon and I have some thoughts on my mission 100% cruelty free. I'm on a journey to pan my way to cruelty free. I have not been adding any additional products to my collection that are not cruelty free and haven't for a very long time. But my numbers are not moving. In fact, I dropped down to 83% since the last update and then have bumped it up again because I did some decluttering. And tracking my percentage has really deterred me from decluttering cruelty-free items because I don't want my percentage to be worse than it is. But some of my friends really wanted, I had two of the Circle Tarte palettes and I really just didn't use them. Um, they were really neutral, they weren't my favorite formula, but I was holding on to them because they were cruelty free and helped my percentage out, which is such a terrible mindset to be in. So I have some thoughts that I'm going to be talking to you guys about coming soon-ish. I don't know when that's going to go up. Um, but I have a couple of things I want to chat about, so I thought I'd get ready with me would be the best place to do that. My goal is still for my collection to be 100% cruelty free. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep on trucking with this program project. I have some really exciting progress. Uh, once you meet your goal on five items, you're allowed to refresh the project. I've already done that one time. So I'm getting close to being able to do that again which is exciting but let me stop rambling and jump into the progress first this is my NARS Laguna um, with pressed powder products my goal has been to hit pan on them and then once all of my non cruelty free pressed powder products have pan I will circle back around to finish them off just to keep things moving a little bit more I used this four times since the last update and I have pan. I'm working on three other bronzers. This was not like a fourth one. So as soon as I hit pan on this, I set it aside and started working on something else. So it's not too big, but I'm so excited to finally have pan in this bronzer. So this is rolling out today. I also cannot get any more out of my Dior Lip Maximizer Lip Gloss. Um, this was damaging my lips <laughs> and everyone told me to just throw it out last update but I was too stubborn so I continued to use it until like I had to dip in three or four times to get enough product on my lips. I used this 11 more days. That is 11, yeah, 11 days. So I don't include reapplications in that until I literally cannot get anything else out of this. It looks like there's still a little bit left, but it's done. So this is a, a goal met as well. The Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 8 I only used one time since the last update so I cannot make a new marking. I have a long way to go on this lipstick. I'm also working on the Rimmel lip liner in the shade East End Snob. I did use this six times since the last update and have made a tiny bit of progress but again I still have quite a long way to go on this one. From Bath & Body Works I'm working on a lotion. I used this nine times but maybe more than that because I'm really bad at tallying my non-makeup products because my tally sheet is sitting at my vanity where I do my makeup. So um, but I have made really good progress and I think if I have just focused on this a little bit more I could have this done by the next update which would be great. 
So I'm able to roll in two new products. I have typically structured this project in a way that is four makeup and one non-makeup beauty product. However, I am so overwhelmed with the amount of products that I'm panning right now that I've decided to roll in some non-makeup products. The first, I'm counting this as one item, are these two perfume samples. These are the two perfume samples that I have that are not cruelty free, that are a little bit lighter, so I think I will use them up during like spring, summer. And they are Gucci Bamboo and Versace Bright Crystal. Gucci Bamboo has about half left and I don't know if I've ever used the Versace one so it's probably got however much it came with. Um, so maybe I should have, I already have perfume on or I'd spray it but I don't want like too much since like I'm breastfeeding and stuff. I'm not going to spray it again. I hope both of these are still good but this is going to count as one item and I want to finish those off. And then this SPF, I just threw it, is so old that a normal person would throw it away. <laughs> but it's the only non-cruelty-free SPF I have remaining in my collection. And I'm really itching to try some new ones this summer, but I want to finish this one first. This is the Clarins UV50 um, SPF and I have it upside down because it's getting lower and it was too hard to get stuff out in the mornings. So I am down to here and my goal will be to finish this off hopefully by the next update. I've been really bad at applying SPF every day when I'm not going anywhere. If it's particularly sunny and I know we're going to be playing outside, I do apply it but some days I'm forgetting. Like today it was rainy and even though it's rainy, even though I'm inside, I should be applying my SPF anyways. So hopefully it being in a project will motivate me to finish this off. So I'm rolling this in and those perfume samples in the place of the bronzer and the lip gloss. So that is it for this update for my Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pan. In terms of goals for next update, I think I could have the perfume samples and maybe even the lotion done. Um, we shall see the lip products. Mm, I still have a long way to go on those ones. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!